Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with the design of reinforced concrete structures. In the topic of design of shear walls, that is reinforced concrete wall. So the question is, design a reinforced concrete wall with the height of 3 meter and the thickness is 200 mm. The load applied to the wall is 200 kilonewton per meter square. The length of wall is 3 meter out of M20 and Fe415 steel and concrete. Okay, so now the given value is, so the height uh, is given, so the h equal to height of wall is 3 meter, then thickness of wall t equal to 200 mm, so that is 0 0.2 meter, then length of wall l equal to 3 meter, so the lw, then hw is 3 meter, then load W is uh, 200 kilonewton per meter square, then FCK is 20, then FY value is 415. Okay, so this is Newton per mm square. So, this is also Newton per mm square. Okay, so these are all the given values. So, we have to uh, design that shear wall uh, with the concurrence with the IS456-2000. Okay, so based on the IS 456 2000, we are going to design uh, we are going to design the shear wall. So now we can take the solution. So now uh, first we have to find out the uh, effective height of the wall. So the height to thickness ratio we have to uh, check. So now the effective height of wall. effective height of wall h e equal to 0 0.75 into h w that is 75 percentage of height okay so now we can substitute 0 0.75 into the height of wall is 3 meter so that is uh, 3 so we get the value of 2.25 meter okay so now we can uh, uh, get the value of effective height to the thickness ratio. So it should be uh, less than of 30. So now the height is uh, effective height is 2.25 divided by the thickness value is uh, 0 0.2. So that is thickness of wall is 0 0.2 meter. So the value should be 11.25. It should be minimum of 30 okay so it's a minimum of 30 it's a less than 30 so hence safe so hence safe we can take the effective height and height also okay so now uh, the eccentricity so the whether we have to check the eccentrically loaded or axially loaded so now we can uh, take the eccentricity of 0 0.5 0 0.05 into thickness so 0 0.05 into 200 so thickness so we got the value of 10 mm so hence the eccentricity is very minimum so we can take the axially loaded now we going to find out the shear stress value so shear stress tau v w so, so tau v is the shear stress of wall equal to v u divided by t into d so now the v u is uh, 200 into 10 power 3 so because uh, 200 kilonewton per uh, meter square so kilonewton we have to uh, take into uh, 0 point uh, sorry 10 power 3 then thickness is 200 into the uh, dia so the then D is 0 0.8 into 3000 okay so the height so now uh, solving this we got the value of 0 0.416 now uh, it should be a minimum of uh, uh, 0 0.12 FCK so we can check now 0 0.12 FCK so 0 0.12 into the FCK value is 20 we got the value of 2.4 so it should be minimum of it's a less than of uh, it's, a, it's a greater than of 0 0.416 so now 0 0.416 is uh, less than 2.4 so hence safe 
So now we can take this shear strength of concrete. So shear strength of concrete for that uh, tau C W. So shear strength of concrete of wall. So now we can take uh, three point zero minus H W divided by L W into K one root of F C K. So for that we have to check H W divided by L W value. So it should be uh, less than or equal to one. So now H W is a uh, height of wall is three meter and length of wall is also three meter. So it equal to one. So is less than or equal to one. So hence we can use this formula. So now uh, we can substitute all the values. Now tau C W is equal to three point zero minus three divided by three and K one value is zero point two. So then F C K is twenty. Uh, okay. So now uh, solving this, we got the value of tau C W is equal to one point seven nine. Okay. So for that, we can uh, provide the reinforcements. So now the vertical reinforcement. So the vertical reinforcement is zero point one two percentage of uh, BD. So that is zero point one two percentage. That is equal to zero point zero zero one two into. So the B into D. So now we can substitute zero point zero zero one two into. So the B value is two thousand into D value is two hundred. Okay. So solving this, we got the value of. Uh, we got the value of seven twenty mm square. Okay. Now provide sixteen mm dia balls at. 300 mm center to center. So 300 mm minimum spacing. So now the horizontal reinforcement. So 20, 0.2 percentage. That is uh, 0.002 into B into D. Okay, so zero point two percentage, so zero point zero zero two into B into D. So now zero point zero zero two into again three thousand into two hundred. So for that we got uh, for that we got the value of two thousand two hundred mm square. So for that we can provide. 16 mm dia balls at 250 mm center to center. Okay. So this is the method we can design the shear wall. So again we will see next video. Thank you.